So, hello, today, this is Sam, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Rainbow Loom Starburst video. So, first thing first, you're going to want to start placing your bands. You're going to want to take um, white or um, a solid color. I do white or two. And then you're going to want to, you can also use black or um, gray, but I happen to don't have that much black. So, now you're going to want to place your first band going here to here. Take another band. Go take you can take two and then go one and then pick up that one and go up. And you will want to do this um, up to the top and then curve in. So now that I'm all the way up to the top, so your loom should basically now look like this. You should have gone up one all the way up the loom and then turn in. Now you're going to want to take another white band and do the same thing going up at the end on this position take it again and turn in you'll want to do this all the way like the same exact way as you did the first one so now I made it all the way back up to my loom I'm gonna to want to put my whites away shove them up over here so, now, for this bracelet, I recommend doing the same colors that I shall and be doing. You first, but you always want to, in this bracelet, you always are going to want to push down your bands by just doing this. Just pushing them down with your hook. Okay, now, you are going to take, so I am doing, you should, you really should be doing this. Just a reminder that this is an advanced bracelet. And then you're going to take some orange. You're going to take some some yellow. You're going to take some green. Some green. You're going to take some blue. And lastly, you're going to take some purple. As you can see, my loom case gets very messy. And then you're going to just take a couple more whites as capping bands. So, please, please follow how I place on my bands. And you will need, um, you're gonna need the same amount of bands. So, for each burst. You're gonna, now we're placing burst of bands, just a reminder. You're gonna take the first one and put it on, and then push it down again. Take this uh, next band, you can have more than one in your hand, and then place it here. Once again, you have to place the bands in the same exact order. Then you're going to take this ba another band and put it right over here. Even another band over here. And then last, your second band. And you're going to want to really push down because once you have mastered this bracelet, you can do this in many colors. So, now to speed up the process, you're going to want to make a capping band, which is basically taking one band, putting it in two fingers, wrapping it around, putting it against, and then making it on one finger, taking it in two fingers, and placing it on, on your loom. You're going to want to go do the same process all the way to the top. So, making my last, I'm all done placing my bands. You're going to want to make one capping band at, right over here at your last peg. Now it's time to hook. You're going to want to flip around your loom and start to hook the burst. Just a reminder, you may fall behind with this process. So once a, remi a reminder, just please pause the video. So now you're going to want to hold down the capping band and take that band and go up. And then you're going to want to go up. And then you're going to push down and find this band. Then you're going to want to go over here. If this falls off, simply get it and just push it back onto here. Then record. Okay, so make sure that all the bands are looking like a flower in the store. Because if you hook them up to the wrong spot, it turns into a big disaster. Now you're going to go in and pick this up. And then go up. Then you're going to go here. And pick this up. 
Now you're gonna do this one. Okay. See how this just happened? That's totally fixable. You you put it on. You get it. You and, and then you get it. Sorry. It, you. You get the hang. You get a grip of it here. I'll show you. And then you, and then you're gonna just hook it up like a kind of like a loop. You can do this really fast. It takes how long ever it takes. So now, as I did this, now you're gonna do this. For this one, you're gonna wanna get this and bring it up like how we did with the capping band. No capping band. Then we hook it how like. We did this. You will want to do this to the end until this, until this burst going all the way around. Okay, so now you should have most of your loom looking, your loom should look like this. It should look like uh, stars in some way. And then all the way up the loom, it should be looking like that. Okay, so. Now it's time to hook perimeter bands, which is basically simpler than hooking this. You want to go up and bring it to here. So it looks like this, and then you're going to push back all your bands. This is kind of like making a triple single bracelet. And then you want to go up, 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 up. And do this to the end. Okay, make sure that this best last one goes to here, and then you're gonna push down. And you can of course buy some charms anywhere wherever you want. So now you're gonna wanna, for your reverse let's you're gonna go to get this one and then bring it to here. You're, it's, you're gonna wanna do it like this and then all the way up. To the top is the same exact way to do it uh, like the other one, except you're just doing it on and uh, on the other side. And this and it's six, sometimes it's hard to hook these brakes, hook the perimeter bands. You are going to want to do this to the end, and as the same exact way as last time, where you have to bend it in, and then I'll tell you what to do from there. So now you're basically going on a push back and make sure you get this band and you hook it onto here. And now you're going to want to make sure your loom looks like this and always want to check your sides to make sure each band is looks like it is in the center. If it's like this over here, it is fine. Now checking on this side. Rainbow with starburst saps. No. Okay. Now that you are done, this color is white right over here. So for perimeter bands, what with that color, white looks absolutely great. So you're gonna want to go in and make sure you are getting all of the bands, and then make sure your hook is in a down position. Get up and then bring it up through and in and hook slide it to the back of your remote of your hook. You want to go up and up. And there is your finished starburst. Now for perimeter bands, it depends. I usually do for my arm span. For on this bracelet, as you can see, it is one, two, three, four, five, six. You can do six or seven. Adults, I usually do eleven. It all depends of how you want to do. And then you could, you're could you going to want to take it up. You, it's so simple to do it with your finger. You want to go up. And then bring it to here. Onto this finger. Onto this finger. Onto this finger. Onto this finger. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And lastly, 
7. Now you all want to take a C-clip, which you can, when you buy a rainbow loom, comes in this type of package. You are going to want to take it, find the inside, and then just rip. You're going to take a C-clip from the pouch. C-clip right over here. Put, close this so they don't go spilling all over the place. Take this and put this in your finger. Let go. And make let and make sure this is like this. Then you want to take this, and actually you should always have it look like this, looking like this. And then taking this, and then put hook it onto the cap band, where where we made the cap band for that. Here and then he, this is your finished starburst.